will come again. Today we move to the next pattern matching algorithm, Robin Carb algorithm. Robin Carb or Carb Robin algorithm is a string searching algorithm created by Richard Carb and Michelle Robin in 1987. The Robin Carb algorithm achieves a speed up by using a hash function to quickly perform an approximate check for each position and then only performing an exact comparison at the positions that pass this approximate check. A hash function is a function which converts every string into a numeric value called it is hash value. For example, hash of dr15. There is a main property of the hash function here that hash at the next shift must be efficiently computable from the current hash value and the next character in text. Like the brute force algorithm, Robin Carp algorithm also slides the pattern one by one. But unlike the brute force algorithm, Robin Carp algorithm matches the hash value of the pattern with the hash value of the current substring of text. And if the hash value match, then only it starts matching individual characters. So Robin Carp algorithm needs to calculate hash values for the following strings. If two strings are equal, then their hash values are also equal. But if two hash values are equal, this does not necessarily mean that the two strings are equal. We have to check them for matching. The Robin Carp algorithm proceeds by computing at each position of the text, the hash value of a string starting at that position with the same length as the pattern. If this hash value equals to the hash value of the pattern, it performs a full comparison at that position. For example, given the following text and the pattern, we first compute the hash value of the pattern. Suppose it is X1. We compute the hash value of the first window, AA. And suppose that it is equals to X2. Since they are not equal, we compute the hash value for the next window in the text, AB, say X3, and we continue. If the hash values are equal, we perform a full match of the pattern with the window. Robin Carp algorithm uses a rolling hash to quickly filter out positions of the text that cannot match the pattern and then checks for a match at the remaining positions. Suppose, for example, that letters A, B, C to Z are assigned values 1, 2, etc., 26. We can use different hashing functions. For example, at the letters representation, if we have A, B, D, then we add 1, 2, four, then the hash value will be seven, or we can multiply the representations of letters. To generate a good hash function, usually the following algorithm is used. We choose any prime number Q, then we multiply the value or representation of each character by Q to the power I. The value or representation of the first character by Q to the power zero, added with the representation or value of the second character, multiplied by Q to the power one, etc. In this way, we can use rolling for generating the new hash from, from the old hash. Here are the steps to generate the new hash from the old hash. We first subtract the value of old character from the old hash and divide the result by Q. Then the new hash equals to X added with the value of new character multiplied by Q to the power M minus one. I will demonstrate how to do that. Suppose for example, that here we have the text here we have the old window and it is hash was computed 
using this formula. We really can compute the new hash for the new window in the same manner, but the complexity of computing the hash using this formula every time is high. You can know that on every new window, we have one character leaving the window and one a new character added to the window. By using rolling proposed by the algorithm, the new hash is computed as follows. A new hash equals two. We subtract from the old hash the value or representation of character i, which will not be part of the new window. And we divide this value by q, and we add to this expression the value of character i plus m plus 1, which is the new character in the window here, multiplied by q to the power m minus 1. Computing the new hash in this manner requires less time than computing the hash using this formula. So this is the idea of rolling. I will demonstrate this through example. Suppose, for example, we have the text, as you see here, we choose the prime number Q equal three for simplicity. The hash for the pattern ABC is computed, which is the value of A1 multiplied by three to the power zero plus the value of B2 multiplied by three to power one plus the value of C is three multiplied by three to the power two, which is 34. Now we start the algorithm. The first window is AAD here. In the same manner, we compute the hash for it. Since their hashes are not equal, we move to the next window. The next window is ADC. And instead of computing the a new hash using this formula, we can compute it using the rolling. In this case, the old hash is 40. We subtract the value of A, which is one from 40, and we divide by Q. Now this value 13 is added to the value of the new character, which is C, multiplied by three to the power two. The result is 40, and it is not equal to the hash of the pattern. So we take another window, DCA. Again, the new hash is 40 minus 1 divided by 3, added to the value of the new character A, multiplied by 3 to the power 2, which is 22. Again, mismatch with the hash for the pattern. Now the new window CAB, the old hash, minus four, which is the value for the old character over Q, plus the value of the new character multiplied by three to the power two. The value is 24, and again mismatch with the hash for the pattern. Now the new window is ABC, its hash is 24 minus 3, the value for the character C over 3 plus the value for the new character 3 multiplied by 3 to the power 2. The result equals 34. Since we have a match, we have to compare the characters of the pattern to the characters in the text. Since they are equal, then we retain the position or index of the pound value. As you see, the complexity of the 
algorithm because n plus m on the best case, but on the worst case, it is as naive algorithm nm. Worst case occurs when all characters of pattern and text are same as the hash values of all the substring of text match with hash value of pattern. For example, in the example of this case, several algorithms like KMP or BM speed up the searching by extracting more information from each mismatch, allowing them to skip over positions of the text that are guaranteed not to match the pattern. There are some applications of Robin Carp algorithm. It's used on plagiarism software. And Robin Carp algorithm is efficient if we are searching for different patterns. We perform that on the same scan. Thank you.